look at you look good, man. Oh, thanks. You, thanks. you look good. That's so fair. You, no, but you look. This is the Tweedy. Oh, yeah, thing. no, it's great. <laughs> it's very nice. It's a slim <laughs> fitting suit. Are you? Uh, is those your notes? Yeah, yeah. I've Fantastic. Been, this I've is going to be a great show. Uh, it is. I've been reading all about you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, it's uh, it's uh, this uh, the film with the things and the stuff. Oh. Uh, no, it's uh, it's 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 got porn in it, isn't it? It's not it's not a porn film though. No, it's not a porn film. Are you, are you sure? You are correct. You did direct it. I, I wrote it and, and directed it. And, uh, That's a it's great a, thing. It's about how all kinds of media affect our expectations for love and sex and things like that. And uh, Porn. And there's porn in it, though. There's, well, so the, the boyfriend and girlfriend you just saw, this right. Scarlett and I play, my character watches too much porn and her character watches too many romantic Hollywood movies. Uh huh. And it sort of compares the two. In a way, because uh, do you do you watch a lot of porn yourself? Do you, uh, or romantic Hollywood movies? Are you a romantic person or uh, depraved? <laughs> I would say I'm probably half and half. Yeah, yeah, in the middle, I'm, I'm right you know? there with you. I'm sort yeah. of a sexually depraved uh, optimist <laughs> with a heart of gold. Oh. Yeah. Wouldn't you say though that a lot of what's in mainstream media is is sort of just as depraved as pornography? Perhaps even more. I think pornography is honest. I, you know, I think that pornography is like this is disgusting, so enjoy yourself. Whereas, uh, <laughs> whereas a lot of mainstream media dresses itself up to be. They're like, uh, this is disgusting, so buy these potato chips. Right. Well, uh, not on CBS, of course. Of but course they, not, uh, not, none of your sponsors. No. No, do we have it? We get boner pills. They're quite honest as well. Uh, <laughs> no, but I think that I think that's true. Actually, I think that uh, the uh, what, well, who wins in the end of the movie? Is there a car chase? True love wins in the end, Craig. Really? Yeah. Well, exactly what is true love is the question. It's it's the story about this guy who, yeah, at first he really can't connect with anybody uh, except himself, uh, presumably. <laughs> and, and even that is not so connecting, so to speak, as. Uh, I don't know something else, but uh, by the end, yes, he is. He is sort of. No, nope, didn't get that. So <laughs> he's, he he masturbates a lot, but he's not good at it. I would say that when he's watching the pornography and masturbating, uh, he's uh, he's not achieving what one can really achieve with a, a true connection, a loving connection with another human being. Yes, but uh, but isn't that the idea to avoid a loving connection? That is just the idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, but right. maybe by the end he learns to start having some of those connections. Right. And what about the, the other side then, the, the romantic Hollywood movies? Is that a, a fantasist's uh, uh, idea then? Is that how to avoid? Yeah, I think it's sort of, it's equally simplistic. You know, you're offered these, these fantasies, exactly. It's mm. fantasist. I never heard that before. No, it's a real word. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. I think yeah, we, when you're busy comparing your real life to the fantasies that you see on screen, mm. whether they're in movies or pornography or commercials or anywhere else, you're going to miss all the good stuff. Well, but this is interesting to me because you've been a, uh, in show business since you were very, very young. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, and so your real life is, in fact, in this great sewer that we all work, this show <laughs> business. So uh, are, have you ever been uh, drawn in by the fantasy? Have you ever forgotten that what you're either in something salacious or something um, ridiculous? Ridiculously romantic. Do you forget or do you buy this window? Sure, when, I, when I'm watching TV or when I'm watching movies, I get sucked in like anybody else. Right. Of course. Yeah, but, but I guess probably because I have worked uh, in show business my whole life, I'm more readily aware of the illusion. Of yeah, right. Where, where are you from originally? I'm from the valley, a suburb of LA here. I've never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, is, it, is it over in that direction? I have no uh, sense of direction. No, no, no. It, it, oh, there, the window, man. Look out the window. Oh, it's, right, uh, yeah, the window, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, so, okay, so if uh, that's downtown. Yeah, yeah, so the valley's over, over, over there. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still live, do you live in the house you were born in? No, my parents do, though. Really? Yeah. Did you buy it for them? <laughs> no. They still live there, and you moved out, and they still live there? Yes. That's great. That's lovely. They are lovely. Yeah, yeah. are they your parents? My that's parents. That's a very are. controversial thing to say on television. <laughs> my parents are lovely? They really are. I gotta say, I'm a lucky guy. Really? Are you lucky to go to Las Vegas and stuff? Not lucky in that way. Right. <laughs> what about in uh, meaningful co co connections, you know? See, I can't even say it. <laughs> that, listen, that, this is a th Are you in therapy? Uh, I feel like I am right now. Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> so, um, do you have a fear of intimacy yourself? No, I think I'm pretty good at intimacy. That's why I made a movie about it. Hmm. But let, give me the pipe. No, no, no. no yeah, no. I got it. Well, man, Do you have a fear of intimacy yourself? <laughs> well, if you're going to start using that accent, then I'm going to start using this accent. Nine!
You going German? <laughs> In that case, I'm going Indian. And I am telling you, I will tell you this. <laughs> Here's a question. Do you think intimacy is something you can be good at? Or is it something that is the natural uh, chemical uh, reaction between two people who are uh, compatible? So compatibility is actually what you're looking for, not intimacy, because intimacy with the wrong person leads to half of your stuff down the swanee, if right. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> When you find the right person, you end up naturally... Exactly. Intimate. Fear of intimacy is actually a defense mechanism until you find the right person. And then that intimacy, that fear, would naturally dissipate because you have found, biologically, the right person for you to meet with. I think it, it can happen that way, but you can find someone you would be naturally compatible with. But if you're too busy comparing that relationship to, to these fantasies you have, rather than actually paying attention to what the person is saying and doing and being present with them, you can, what'd you call it, go down the swanee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half your stuff down the swanee. Half your stuff. Oh, half your ah, stuff down the yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. We have to take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> we really need something to put in these pipes. Oh. <laughs> Don't I know it, Junior. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll Oh, we're back now. Cool. So, we're back um, now. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we're out of time. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Have you enjoyed yourself? Very much so, I must say. Mm. It's like an improv game, except you're here to catch me if I fall. <laughs> How dare you even say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're improvising. That's really cool. We didn't plan this out at all. Or am I not supposed to say that? No, now you've given it away. These people think we've been working for hours. Oh, I this. see, I see. Right. Ah, yeah. anyway. I have to say, that pipe goes with that suit. Yeah, I mean, really, you look like you could solve a crime. <laughs> In a handsome cab. Are there any crimes going on that maybe, uh... Just the monologue. You, you catch the monologue? That, uh, there was something about a murder, right? Oh, yes, there has been a murder. <laughs> Would you I... care to, uh... Murder somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Would you if you could get away with it? No! <laughs> <laughs> I think they should add these sound effects to, like, news shows. <laughs> so, uh, how do you fancy ending this thing? You want to do, uh, or, well... I think my pipe is a pen. Aha. Uh -huh. May I have your autograph? See? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll read your palm. Okay. All right. Then. You've been very busy on your own recently. That's, that's true, actually. Stay there. Stay there. Mm -hmm. Right, now. Long lifeline, uh, very bold heart line, and a nice uh, 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 washing line right there. Yes, I do stay clean. Is that what you said? Washing line? Yeah, yeah, it's a washing line, yeah. Never heard of that. I was just... You know, washing line, but you kids never hang out your washing? <laughs> You know, oh, your laundry, laundry, your laundry, laundry, laundry. laundry. Right, right. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not originally from the valley, for God's sake. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. That's what you said earlier, like five yeah. minutes ago or something. Well, what I'm doing is I'm... Crikey. ...with the structure, man. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's very subversive. It's kind of punk rock of you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That was my thing. I was a punk rock drummer. Is that right? Mm hmm <laughs> I like to play a bit of the punk rock drums. Do you really? Yes. Why, how nice to meet you. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We'll have to bang away on the old can sometime. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we can play drums together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Say good night. Thanks for having me. Oh,
My first guest tonight, very talented actor, movie star, really, I'd say. His latest film, The Wind Rises, is in theatres tomorrow. Take a look at this. We It's the weirdest thing. I didn't think they were that good a crowd, but they went crazy, you know, when uh, when you came out. As I did myself, I'm like, oh! <laughs> I do that all the time. I look in the mirror and I go, oh! <laughs> I do too, but for a completely different reason. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to wear a grey suit. I wore a grey suit. Oh, my God! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, we should <laughs> rub. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like your tie. wearing a grey suit, too. Who, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know each other? Yeah, yeah, man. We hang out all the time. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that movie looks kind of weird. You don't look like you in it at all. Uh, yeah. you, you're kind of like wearing a lot of makeup in this thing, or what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're painted on frame by frame. Yeah. yeah. Is this a movie that was in uh, a different language and then you put your language That's exactly in? right. Well, Is it really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a Japanese movie. It's it looked by... a little Japanese. That's what I thought. Yeah. My a master named Miyazaki. Have you ever seen Princess Mononoke or Spirited Away? You bet I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> They're really great movies. Have you guys ever seen Princess Mononoke? Oh, they. Obviously. Yeah. And and I I have too. <laughs> In a show business. Well, the I... Secretariat. <laughs> It's not a real horse, man. <laughs> so you, do you have to go in and then do, look at the lips of the characters, the way they're moving, and then try and fit your That's words That's exactly in? it. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds like actual work. Yeah, it's weird doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, you yeah. don't want to be doing that, not as an actor. It truly you know. is a beautiful movie, though. Yeah, no, it looks very nice. What's it about? It's about, uh, it's, it's kind of wartime Japan, and it's right. about a guy that's designing airplanes, uh, but he just loves airplanes and kind of the art and the craft of it, and he's upset about the fact that his creations go off to war and ah. uh, killing machines. And uh, so it's really nuanced and fascinating in that way. Are you into airplanes in some way? Is that the thing? Uh... As much as the next person, I why are you in, you into airplanes? I love airplanes. You love airplanes? I love oh, airplanes. Oh, you're going to love this movie. Yeah, I, I'm going to love this movie. I love airplanes and I love cartoons, so... What's so there you yeah, I, No, is, is Scooby doing this? Because I love no, Scooby. No, sorry. Right. But the, uh, yeah, I love airplanes because I love to fly. Do you, have you ever taken a flying lesson? No, I've never taken a flying you lesson. You would enjoy it. Someone was telling me backstage that you're a pilot. You fly. Yes, I, I can fly an airplane. I don't wow. know. Pilot's a big, a big, big man's word for what I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, uh, What's the difference? Well, pilots are kind of like confident and... Right. <laughs> good at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, no, no. I'm all right. You know, I passed the test, so I must be all right. Uh -huh. So yeah. maybe I won't be flying with you in the nah, future. Nah, right? you'd be all right. I'd bring someone else up, you know, oh, qualified. Okay. okay. Are, you ever are you a good flyer? Are you a bad flyer? Or what? Like when I go on into Yeah, airline? yeah, when you go on like an airliner. Yeah, I, I suppose. I mean, I, I don't think too much about it. I mean, I, I think... The, the, the thing I always think about is that it's actually more dangerous to drive a car than to fly in a plane. Well, especially if you drive it in the sky. <laughs> yes. Do you, do you play the odds like that a lot in your life? Like, do you go to Vegas and count cards, and, you know, which is against the law? I mean, that's against the law? Uh, I don't know, is it? I pay attention oh, to yeah. some of the statistics sometimes. Sure, I don't, I don't think that you can count everything in numbers. But yeah, when you find out that statistically you're safer being a passenger on a plane than yeah. just driving a car every day, that provides me some reassurance. Do you, do you plane takes off. Do you drive a car? I do drive a car, yeah. It's one of them, it's one of them isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what he's talking about? I have no idea. Yeah, you do. You know what I'm talking about. I've never understood a word he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's probably... You probably get one of them hybrids, haven't you? It's, it's actually a fully electric car. No way! Is it the, is it the Tesla? No, it's, oh. it's the less expensive. It's a Leaf, Nissan Leaf. I love the Teslas, but I yeah. don't really want to drive around a really expensive car. <laughs> well, that's not really what movie stars are meant to be like. <laughs> You're not really And strict. that's why I'm not like, like any other movie star. Yeah. 
You're very good at it. <laughs> very good. You scared me a little bit there. <laughs> Well, good for you, man. That's good. I yeah. like the fact that you do that. You find, find your own path. Do your own thing. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I'm just thanks, saying. Thanks, man. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever miss the TV show, Regular Cash? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that, show, that was a big show, man. I mean, you were, you were little at the time. I was, it was little. a big show. I miss the TV show all the time. Yeah. I just saw a bunch of those folks recently because we had our... I don't know, it, it's not quite the 20-year reunion, but it's like leading up to the 20-year reunion. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Holy crackers. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, my. Yeah, we shot the pilot in 1995. <laughs> Are you okay? I came to America in 1995. Yeah. <laughs> well, I threw, you know, through Ellis Island. I uh, changed my name. Right. I was originally, Joey Goldstein was my name. Uh, <laughs> Crossed America in a covered wagon. I see. That sounds really difficult for you. Not one of the new fancy ones. One of the it was the Leaf. The the, the Leaf. <laughs> the all electric covered. Yeah, yeah wagon. the electric sure. covered wagon. Yeah. That's... Yeah. We gotta take a break. Okay then. From each other. I think we should see other people. <laughs> I'll let my girlfriend know. <laughs> you you have a girlfriend? Oh, uh, let's take a break. Thanks for touching my snake with your cup. <laughs> did you plan that out? You knew you were gonna say and Now, how would I, if you're the one that did the cheers first, you left the thing up and said you cheers. You were concocting the whole time, then maybe someone will toast me with what? my snake cup and then I'll tell them. Hey, what do you think I am, Mr. Burns or something? <laughs> you did that. Uh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> so, uh, are you in therapy yet? No. I think no. you should be there. I got my pipe ready. Let's get you okay, going. Okay, let's do All it. All right, right. So, you were a very big uh, star as a child, and yet you have not developed the habits of the child actor. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are we both Austrian in this? Why not? Yes, okay. So, you are Austrian pretending to not be Austrian yeah. for, for money? Which... All I know how to say is yeah. Because this is impossible. You already said all I know how to say is. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> so you are from Austria? Yeah. You enjoy, you enjoy tiny little sausages? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you enjoy them? <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah, this is really giving me nowhere to go here. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun for a minute though. Yeah, yeah. no, it was fine. And then, and then it was too much. I like your socks, man. Hey, thanks. Is that Creatures of the Sea? Yeah. 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 Oh, and nice. I wore some, uh, wait. Irish or Scottish? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Is that terrible? It's all right. No, I'm you know, one or the other. What are you, Amer Amer American or Canadian? Canadian I can never remember. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. These, these are these are the four the uh, the clovers with the cat in the hat, which I wore for you. Oh, thank you. But I was probably wrong because you're Scottish, aren't you? No, no. Actually, my uh, my family are Irish, but I grew up in Scotland. So then it's not so bad that I didn't know. Hey, that's a great voice. <laughs> hey. that, what's that voice? Yeah, no, I like that voice. Yeah, nothing. Don't yeah, worry. So, about no, it. I want to hear more of this. Get the out of here. I like this guy. <laughs> Did you just cuss on my show? Don't cuss on I my show. I heard you cuss on the show two I times since I've been on here. No, I didn't. Did I, Did I cuss? You cussed on the phone with the lady. Yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> Plus, it was Miriam. I hate that. I can have it. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> hey. You take it. You, I don't, I, I'm not entering. Otherwise. <laughs> oh. Hello? Hello, is this Joseph? Yeah. Hmm. Why don't you give this message to Craig? Well, this is for both of you. Why yeah. don't you go ahead and pull it out of each other? <laughs> Goodbye. I don't know, man. She <laughs> said she's coming Craig. over later. <laughs> That was me hanging up the phone. <laughs> that, thanks, Miriam. <laughs> Wait a minute, that wasn't a real phone call? Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Miriam's a ghost. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if ghosts were real. I'm glad you could confirm. Well, that. yeah, I can confirm ghosts are real. Good. You ever seen a ghost? No, I haven't seen a ghost. Well, they're real. Is that right? Sure. How do you know? Seen one. When? Can't tell you. Why not? Because it's my girlfriend. 
<laughs> you have a girlfriend. Just a girl living yeah. I like my pipe burnt like this. Look. Oh, I've enjoyed. It's more cheerful. It is. But you burn your. <laughs> You burn your eyebrow if you smoke it like this. I'm not, not going to get eyebrow, like Joseph say. Gordon Levitt's cooties on this pipe, am I? No, 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 no. It's, it's different. He wasn't smoking that pipe. He had a big, giant, gentleman's oh, okay. curved pipe. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. That's what I heard. Yeah. That's what I heard. All right. <laughs> we're out of time. Are you going to say goodnight or am I going to say it? You say it. All right. We'll be right back. Everybody.